Tony's doing nothing wrong. He's just responding to idiots who are being disrespectful and just found two more people he was DMing with, cussing them out on voice messages in their own Twitter DMs. See, feeding the trolls is like feeding a freaking parasite. Once they latch on and get a taste, all they want is more. I have covered a lot of strange stories on this channel over my career. This one's definitely up there in terms of me not understanding the purpose or why such an individual would take this course of action. As a matter of fact, it kind of even reminds me of Eli Apple in a specific way, but not 100%. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel channel grow. Now that we got all that out of the way, break! Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? I don't think there's a single player in the NFL that had a bigger glow up to his career this past season than Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony was selected with the 20th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft by the New York Giants. Throughout his first season with the New York Giants, he played in 10 games and he got about 420 receiving yards. For some reason, following his first season, he was placed on the trade block, probably because a brand new regime came in and whenever a brand new regime comes in, they tend to be more prone and more willing to move on from previous team projects. And I guess they viewed Kadarius Tony as a project. And as a result, at the end of October last year, he would get traded for a third round pick and a sixth round pick to the Kansas City Chiefs. You have to understand when you get traded in the middle of a season, the odds are kind of stacked against you in regards to how much of an impact you can actually make. And it's nothing against a player in particular. This goes double if you're a wide receiver, because a huge part of your success as a wide receiver is familiarity with your quarterback being installed in specific sets and knowing specific plays and if you don't know those plays you're not going to be able to learn them in the middle of the season that's typically stuff that you learn in training camp or even in voluntary workouts or just by spending some time with your quarterback regardless Kadarius Tony's trade was one of the greatest things that could have possibly ever happened to him Kadarius Tony was compared to Tyreek Hill coming out of the NFL draft in the sense that he ran a four point 3740 yard dash, but also in the sense that he had a reputation off of the football field and he was slapped with a may have character issues. I don't necessarily want to go into why that was slapped onto him, but you have to admit Kansas City Chiefs may have been thinking of doing something here once they traded for Kadarius Tony. They bought low on a player that was drawing comparisons to Tyreek Hill coming out of the NFL draft in an effort to hopefully replace Tyreek Hill. And although it can't happen in year one, obviously, there's a chance it could happen in year two. As a matter of fact, Kadarius Tony is generating a significant amount of hype to be the Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver one in year two. I mean, just looking at the Kansas City Chiefs depth chart as it is, you have Marquez Valdez Scantling, Sky Moore, and Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony finally has a full off season and has been dazzling in his off season workouts. I don't necessarily know how much stock we should put in Instagram workouts, but you can tell that the Chiefs are just throwing darts at the dartboard, trying to hit on their brain brand new wide receiver one. Kadarius Tony was one. Sky Moore in last year's NFL draft was another dart. Justin Ross, who was supposed to be a first round pick, but unfortunately injury issues kind of tanked his value, was supposed to be another. And John Ross, the player that was quite literally drafted right before Patrick Mahomes for running the fastest 40 yard dash in NFL history is yet another. You could tell that Andy Reid wants a speedy wide receiver that he could count on consistently to fill the role of Tyreek Hill and more recently, McCole Hardman. So there's no doubt in my mind, Kadarius Tony definitely upgraded his situation. And if what I haven't told you isn't an indication of that, then how about the Super Bowl ring that's currently on his finger? So why am I telling you all of this? You probably knew all of this. Well, I don't think Kadarius Tony necessarily got the memo because I think Kadarius Tony is quite possibly the easiest person to troll that I've ever seen. So there's a video of Kadarius Tony that is going viral of a New York Giants fan quite literally trolling him on Twitter. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Kadarius Tony is also a rapper by the name of Young Joka or Jaka or how I think Young Joka is what he's going for. Not the worst name, I suppose. So this man starts out by saying, yo, your music is trash. You miss Daniel Jones. That's why you're mad, huh? Look, man, with all due respect to Giants fans and any person with a single brain cell in their head would know that 
this is a clear trolling attempt. When you go from Daniel Jones, who, by the way, great season last year. He did it with the replacements as his wide receivers. So you got to give the man credit. But with respect to him, you're going from Daniel Jones to Patrick Mahomes and you're winning a Super Bowl. You don't need to be the biggest genius to figure out that this young man is just trying to troll you. Which, by the way, I want to give a shout out to the troll because he actually follows us on Twitter. Hey, Vaughn, if you're watching this, man, you're hilarious. But look at Kadarius Tony's response. You talking about Miss Danny Jones? Apparently he missed me. I can show you the call log. And he calling me, blowing me up. He talking about whole ass. I don't give a about no music shit. Talking about bitch. Nigga, you ain't slid on no block. You ain't pulled up on me yet. You ain't talking about shit. My DM. Pull up or shit the fuck up. Here. And Kayvon Adjulari continues to troll him, saying nobody misses you sitting on the sideline all season, buddy. You didn't do shit for us besides stay injured. Kadarius took the bait by saying this. Well, tell that stop calling me then if he don't miss me. Get your put in my DM and she dropping an attic. You know what my favorite part of this is? Kadarius Tony decided to use voice memos. I mean, that is like the icing on the cake for this situation. There's nothing you could do to suggest that this isn't Kadarius Tony. This sounds like Kadarius Tony. I mean, here's Kadarius Tony in another interview. Kills came in, Mahomes popped, everybody came in. Man, it's dead. We need some energy. We and then listen to him once again here. Well, tell that stop calling me then if he don't miss me. Get your put in my DM and she dropping an attic. You don't need to be a genius to know that this is Kadarius Tony, but it gets way, way funnier, man. Avon then says he's calling you to make your bum feel better about getting dumped after one season on being drafted. <laughs> you better make the Chiefs work out because after they're going to cut you, no other team is going to give you another chance. And we all know that music career isn't going to work out. Now, I, I'll give Kadarius his credit. Like so far, I'm giving him like a D minus for like the way he's handling this situation. But like he finally decided that he is not going to respond to Kayvon and he eventually blocked Kayvon. But at this point, the damage was already done. Because this isn't the only incident stemming from Kadarius Tony. The man just decided to declare war on all Giants fans. And the reason why Kayvon probably said this was because four days ago, Kadarius Tony posted this onto his story. Many New York fans mad at me, like, I ain't really. Like, I don't hold a record record over there. Like, y'all championship ain't older than my niece and nephew put together. Like, bro, that's on y'all and y'all GM. I don't really. Shit, buddy traded me. I just made my move, well, went with my move and made some out of it. Now I got this ring mad at me. Y'all can't get mad because it's a blue ring. It's a red one with a K and C on that bitch. And I love them folks. <laughs> I will admit, I think this is just really odd because there's virtually no reason to just start going off on your old team like this. And it's so funny because this is also the team that drafted Eli Apple. But maybe Kadarius Tony saw what Eli Apple did. And he's like, oh, well, his name trended after doing this. So I'm going to try the same thing. And Giants fans are really enjoying trolling him. I mean, even before then, on July 8th, this exchange went down. Kadarius Tony just can't seem to let go of the fact that Joe showing didn't want him. Kadarius, ID gaff about Joe or the Giants, y'all spoke on me and I responded. Oh yeah, and comments don't make you tough, goofy. Okay, I'm sorry, this really triggers me. Why would you spell comments with a K? Look, I am not a guy that is anal about his grammar or anything like that, but- Bro, it's the same amount of letters. You don't need to spell comments with a K. I'm sorry, this is really triggering me. If it was shortening the word to make your life easier, okay, but comments with a K? Really? But he continues to say, Say, let me stop playing with you pussies before I get in trouble. Oh yeah, he most definitely did that because he would also start making threats towards New York Giants fans. <laughs> you can't make this up. Stop talking on my team before I get to putting hands on you, little bruh. <laughs> I gotta admit, this is like grade A trolling and Kadarius just keeps taking the bait. So at a specific point, it just gets really funny. Kadarius then goes, Addy. And then Joe Face Becker says, you not about that life. Kadarius responds saying, keep telling yourself that. And then <laughs> Giants Please Win says he's threatening innocence. I don't feel safe around here. At NFL, at NFLPA, at Chiefs. <laughs> this is... This is a masterclass at trolling and a masterclass in how not 
to evade the trolls. Kadarius is quite literally feeding the trolls, incentivizing more trolling to go on. Now here's the best part of all. After four days of him declaring war on Giants fans, I think this is him roasting someone's girl, saying TF is this, ugly as MF, focus, oh my god, there it is again. He's spelling focus with a K. Why? It's the same amount of letters! Okay, now I'm gonna have a bunch of people like misspelling things with the same amount of letters in my comment section and I should probably take my own advice and just let this go. Focus on Lipo and some other-ish instead of me. Now, here's the best part. Following this, Kadarius Tony tweeted out, my apologies, I got hacked. So he's claiming that he got hacked despite him using his voice in one exchange with another fan. Like, how can you hack someone and send unique voice messages that sound just like him? Look, all in all, I think this is hilarious. I mean, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, but shout out to the New York Giants community for just this really hilarious exchange with Kadarius. I don't even know why Kadarius is engaging in this. You're on the verge of getting potentially a huge bag if you lock in this season and become Patrick Mahomes' wide receiver one, which by the way, you're my favorite to do that. I think it's very possible that he's able to do that. So why are you engaging with Twitter trolls, especially after getting traded to a team that won a Super Bowl and is the favorite to win Super Bowls down the line? I don't necessarily know. I don't know how you could be insecure in a situation like this, man. At the end of the day, this is all jokes and I thought this was really funny. I can't wait for training camp to start within the next two weeks. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.